what is df of a? And while we're at it, what's df of a of x? It's a modern notation for derivatives that you may have learned a different way. So let's do a comparison. I'm going to be talking always in terms of components, of actual like matrix entries. Spivak, for example, uses DFA for the, the abstract thing, like saying vector V instead of saying V1, V2, V3. I'm going to stick with saying things like V1, V2, V3 because I want to make it concrete enough for us to understand what's going on. Doing things without a coordinate system is all great and abstract, but while you're trying to understand what's happening, I find it's best to actually use some coordinates. So my first example, let's just take a simple function from the reals to the reals. f takes x in the reals to y in the reals. So f of x is 2x squared plus 3x. Just picked that function. df of x is 4x plus 3. That's actually the derivative, the derivative of f. df of a is 4a plus 3. That's the slope, the derivative at the point A. So this is the slope, but then what happens when we put this x on here, df of A of x? Well, we're essentially multiplying a one by one matrix by another one. We're multiplying two numbers. So you simply get 4a plus 3 times x. What's the point of that? In a sense, it's the tangent line, right? We have 4a plus 3 is the slope. So this is mx. I just want to point out that df of A just like f, takes a real number and gives out a real number. So much for the one by one case. Now, suppose we have a function of three variables that gives out one number. And let's say the function is x squared plus y plus z cubed. df of x, y, z means partial f, partial x, partial f, partial y, partial f, partial z. It's the gradient df of x, y, z is the gradient in this case. In particular, 2x, 1, 3z squared. So df of a, b, c, a particular point, is 2a, 1, 3c squared. So then we're supposed to multiply that by a vector. What vector and what's the meaning of that? Well, if we let u hat be 0 0.6, 0 0.80, a unit vector, then if we do the gradient of f dotted with u hat, we get the directional derivative, and it's a dot product. The gradient is a row vector. It is more technically called a one form, but del f dot u makes sense. You dot these together, you get a single number, which is 1.2a plus 0.8. That's the directional derivative, and that's what df of abc of vector u gives you. Finally, let's look at something more general function 1 of x, y, z, function 2 of x, y, z, so that f maps from r3 to r2. Now, df of x, y, z is the matrix of all the partial derivatives. It's the Jacobian. That's what the Jacobian means. And then if we evaluate at a particular point, a, b, c, we get this matrix. Then what happens when we multiply that by x, y, z, the vector? We have this matrix times this vector, and we get a two vector. If we put in a unit vector with components u1, u2, u3, we get this expression. What does it mean? This is the directional derivative in the u1, u2, u3 direction of the first component. And this is the directional derivative in that same direction of the second component. So that's a meaning for df of abc and df of abc u1 u2 u3 that's why this thing has two inputs df of a is a linear transformation f is not and df of a is not linear in a it's only linear in x because essentially it's just giving you the grid of all the slopes at of all the functions at that point and then you dot it with a unit vector and get a directional derivative for each component. I hope that clears up the concept.